Hi, my name is Jordan. I'm a pro editor for artists like these guys. Let's check out this video. Dancing in the moonlight. Nobody can see. It's just you and me tonight. Bro, this reminds me of a music video I did with I Cortez, where it was supposed to be shot within a volume, a giant circle LED screen. I think the idea in the song was they were trying to project memories on this LED screen, but it opens up on a very similar wide shot here, where we just see the whole volume projected. But all of this stuff that was projected onto these sheets that are hanging down had to be edited before they even shot. Editing is in every part of the process now, not just post-production, it's in pre-production. Dude. Oh. There's something I learned in aesthetics. What is it called when you see an image but you don't know what it is, aesthetics? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm really a bad student. I forget what it's called, but there is a word for a certain shot where when the shot opens up, you don't really know what it is. And then as the shot moves, you reveal what it is. A good example is if you open on a shot of a Sahara desert, you see all the ripples of the sand, but you can't tell if you're really close. Like if the camera is literally this far off the ground or if you're miles off the ground. And you're never gonna know until you get a reference point, until you see a human or an ant or something in the frame. And we get this same effect right here where we just see sparkles. We're like, what is going on? And they're levitating up. They're not adhering to gravity. What's happening? And then we slowly reveal that we were just looking at a projection on those sheets. We go inside that cylinder that we saw earlier. And then we get these beautiful mash cuts. Bruh, I love choreography. <laughs> That's the whole tweet. Video's over. I don't care about your first love. This should be a lot. <laughs> what I was trying to say is I love choreography when every dancer is doing something different. It's almost like harmonies in choir where everybody's singing the same note and then you break off into harmonies and then you come back into the same note. So satisfying. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about editing here. <laughs> so much of this performance video is essentially just a live show that was already choreographed. The lighting cues were already programmed in there. And so right when we see Jenny for the first time in the close-up, we get a beautiful lighting cue. Just illumining, illum illumining, illumining her so nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's why the editor chose to be on that wide shot so we could see all of the different dance moves in that moment. It's very important to choose to be there. Ooh. Editors! Cutting on action is so freaking important. It's one of the smoothest ways to cut. So we see Jenny make a move, do a little spin. I don't know what's happening right now. But she does a spin. We cut changing locations on action, creating a cut with movement and with framing. And it's just muy delicioso. 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 I don't know what was happening there. And we got the camera slowly dipping as the dancers dip, as the snare comes in. Bro, these shots are so long. As the verse builds up and we get into the chorus, obviously the default thing to do is just to cut faster. So the cutting rhythm is just picking 
up right here. It's just going off. Choreography is such a great cue to the editor for what he or she should be thinking about while they're cutting. So you see the choreography is chaotic. Everybody's doing different moves. Limbs are flying in all different directions. So the editor took that cue and said, oh, you know what? We're trying to create chaos in this moment. So we're just gonna cut faster between the three locations. And then it inherently creates that feeling. Nice little just tilt up transition, super simple. We also had a little bit of a lens flare. Usually editors can actually take an overlay that you take from a stock site like Artlist, Envato Elements, anything, not sponsored. You just take one of those overlays and throw it on the blend mode of screen over your footage and you can actually distract the eye during one of those transitions. It's lovely. And then to contrast all the chaos, that the choreography and the editing was giving us earlier, they have super long shots and simple choreography. I mean, it's not simple, but it's not chaotic. It's just two people dancing in the moonlight, doing exactly what the chorus says, and we just get sucked into that moment. Two things coming up. We actually had some retiming. At the end of that chorus, the footage of Jenny got like a little stuttery and it looked a little bit weird. And they actually did a crossfade, which is pretty rare to find these days, just in general in editing. It seemed like maybe this editor was struggling with the transition between this first chorus and second verse. They wanted to create maybe a match cut. So we have two red moons, you know, kind of flowing into one another. They also maybe didn't have enough of the moon. Maybe the moon turned off in the actual footage. Footage, so they had to extend the footage by slowing it down, making it longer, so that crossfade is fully completed. Yeah, that's weird. That normally does not happen. Dude, oh yes, okay. So this world stops. The whole music stops. The editor's like, okay, frick, I need to figure out a way to emphasize this so the audience can feel it visually, as well as hearing the music just stop. We start in this location, and in order to make a cut to emphasize that stop, we just cut to a new location and then cut back to the same location on the word stop. Just a single cut creates a visual impact that makes us feel that stop. The contrast between how flowy the dance is sometimes and how just chaotic it is is wild. Can we just shout out the camera operators for just following that dance so smoothly? Maybe it was created in post. Excuse me, I needed to burp. And if that's the case, shout out to the editors for punching in and making those little camera movements that just match the dance so gracefully. Oh, another one of those little lens flares. I love it. This is the hardest part of the video for an editor. We've seen these locations for quite a while now. We only have three of them. So how can we make this fresh? It's difficult. And they attempted to do this by adding glitter, by changing where they're shooting a little bit. Now they're going down the steps. The blocking is changing a little bit. But this is the part of the video where it starts to get boring. The audience is like, we've seen this a lot of times. It's my brother. Hi, Justin. Hello. What do you want to say to everyone? Big facts, bro. It's just you and me tonight. Look at you, now look at me. I don't care about your first love. This should be your last one. Nothing like your last one. You look better on me. That's fashion. Won't block your shots. Lights, camera, action. Never been a lummy over lummy, not baby. Every pedal. Okay.
they're doing a good job. They're changing the blocking a little bit, changing the lighting. It's dark red, like something's about to happen. That's what this lighting says to me. The camera's like doing these Dutch angle things. They're doing a little attitude head. Once the attitude head comes out, you know it's about to get serious. And then another one of these perfect tilt up transitions. Lots of times on a tilt up transition, you expect there to be a crossfade or some kind of blend between the shots, but there actually isn't. If we frame by frame it, we tilt up into the light and then all of a sudden we just cut to the next shot. There was no crossfade whatsoever. All it is is a match of the velocity of the camera and the transition is freaking smooth. I'm learning so much, bro, and then this. The biggest plot twists of the century are these girls dabbing right here. Okay, they're not dabbing, I'm just kidding. Who knew that there was a crazy dance break right in the middle of this hallway light tunnel thing? The editor didn't show us right away. It just comes out of nowhere for like a quick shot. We're like, okay, yeah, we're in the hallway. This is cool. This is awesome. Nice. We got some silhouettes and stuff. It's cool. What was that? Excuse me. Brother, it's dirty, bro. I don't care about your first love. This should be your last one. Nothing like your last one. He looked better on me. That's fashion. Won't block your shots. Lights, Fact. camera, action. Never Ooh. been a love me or a love me not day. That push in, holding on that shot was genius. I love you, I love me a lot. Wait, which one I love better? Better off not saying. Ooh. And then we get these subtle match cuts. So right here, as she's drawing an X, we get a subtle match cut with her arm. And then at the end, she puts her arms up, right as in the next shot, she's getting her arms put up. Dude, this last scene is so interesting because it's like this graceful, intimate dancing set to this like distorted, screeching hardcore beat. It is that lovely peanut butter and jelly effect that we are so used to with Blackpink. If you wanna learn how to edit music videos like this or anything in general, definitely check out my course, The Editing Formula. I love you guys, but Jesus loves you even more. Peace out, have a great day.